Hi, this is Needlepointers.com and today I'd like to show you how to uh, machine embroider on a towel. Um, this pattern I machine embroidered uh, is a machine applique embroidery pattern, but the instructions that I'm giving you will work for um, regular filled in embroidery patterns or this machine applique embroidery pattern. This pattern I purchased from um, a website called Applique Corner and the pattern that I'll be sh making in this video I also purchased from Applique Corner. I will have a link to their website in the description of this video so that you, if you're interested in these patterns you can um, purchase them. They're, they have lots of other patterns too. So in order to embroider on a towel you have to um, have the right stabilizers. Um, as usual you put a stabilizer on the back and what I usually use is um, this uh, Sulky Tear Easy Soft Lightweight Tear Away Stabilizer. Um, you can also use a cutaway stabilizer um, but I find that the tear away works just as, just as well as the cutaway for this application. So for embroidering on towels um, the towels have a lot of nap on the top and you know it's all loopy and puffy so um, you need to make sure that your stitches end up on top of the towel nap so like you see here you don't want them to sink in to the towel nap and then you won't be able to see the embroidery at all so what you do to um, keep the stitches on top while you're while you're stitching the pattern is you put this water soluble stabilizer. Um, I use a super solvy water soluble stabilizer by Sulky and you put that on the top of your um, towel bef at, you know, and then you do your embroidery on top of that and as you'll see it will keep the um, stitches then on the top of, above the towel and they won't all sink into the um, towel loops and nap of the fabric. So our first step here is to um, hoop your design. The design I am using for in this video uh, goes across wise whereas this one was more up and down. So when I hoop this one I hooped it this way. This one, this different pattern that I'm making um, I need to hoop it this direction. So what I'm going to be, what I'm going to do to make sure I can get this in the center of the towel acrosswise, what I usually do is simply I'll open the towel up and then I'm going to fold it in half. and I'm going to put a crease in the towel here. So I try to make a good crease in the towel there. And then I can open this up. And I have my hoop. And I've already cut my um, my tearaway stabilizer. So this is going to go underneath. So this is the bottom hoop. I'm going to take that, put it there, and stick it under my design. Now when I'm hooping these towels, I usually, you know, you want to make sure that your pattern is not going to go above the middle of the towel, because that's where it hangs over your, um, your towel rack, right? So you want to make sure that the pattern is below the middle. Usually I try to place it pretty close to the to like this border on the towel so you can adjust it to wherever you prefer to have it you know it could be more centered in here on the top the bottom half of the towel I guess this is pretty centered if you go from the bottom to the top or you could center it between here um, I usually like to just leave a little bit of space here and then have the embroidery pattern show up but it's all up to you where you like to see it so you can see that I can see my line very faintly right there that, um, from when I um, crease the towel. So at this point, I have to see. Um, 
I have to move the bottom or move the towel so that it's in the center. So that's good up top. And then now I want the towel. Now some people like to float their towels on the top on the top of there. So if you want to float your towel, what you would do is you would hoop just the stabilizer and then you could lay your towel over top. You know, in the open open like this you would just lay it over top and then use like um, adhesive to actually to like stick it down. Um, I think that's harder to um, you know to get it in the right position and everything so I like doing it this way. So then I'm going to take my um, this is the water soluble stabilizer and I'm just going to lay it on top. Um, you can use the uh, self the sticky adhesive spray to um, adhere this down but I can also just lay it on top and make sure that it doesn't shift while I'm stitching. So at this point I am ready to start um, stitching my pattern. Okay, so I'm at the machine and I've put my towel into the machine and you can see the pattern I'm making. It's a uh, L-O-V-E with the scissors for the V and it's going to stitch the first color for the heart Now this is a machine applique pattern, as I said, I have another video with details on how to do machine embroidery applique, but um, I'll go over a little bit here. So the first step usually is an outline stitch for the, for the fabric, and then what you want to do is place a piece of fabric. that covers the whole stitch. So on this one we have this heart and I want to make sure that my machine, my uh, piece of fabric I cut out will cover the whole entire area and, and some. So I cut that out and I'm going to spray it with some spray adhesive and I'm going to put the spray adhesive holds the fabric in place temporarily while it gets sewn. So then I'm going to sew the second stitch. The next step is that you take the um, You take the hoop out and I need to cut around the stitch line because this is now the stitch down line and so I'm going to cut the fabric close to the stitch line but I am not going to cut the towel or the stabilizer that's on top and I'm going to just trim very close to the stitches. I'm using a curved scissor. This is embroidery scissor. Um, these scissors are great for doing this machine applique embroidery. Because with the tips curved up like that, it um, makes it so it's harder to clip in the wrong place because I, I try to keep them flat on here and so that and I only use the points to kind of get underneath corners or something if I need to. Okay, so you can see here that I've cut it close to the, the stitching. And so now it's time to insert it back into the machine. So the next Thing in the pattern that is going to be stitched is the L and then it'll probably stitch the V and the E. Um, the, doing these steps is exactly the same. You stitch down the, the um, placement stitch 
and you put the, the fabric down and then you trim around the fabric and so that it's going to do that for all of these um, stitches and then it's going to go back through and do the satin stitch around the whole outside so I'm going to do that part all of that and come back after I finish pretty much uh, sewing this whole thing so okay so the machine just finished sewing the final color so I can take my pattern out and you can see what it turned out to be at this point um, you can pop it out of a frame and you can see how everything is nicely on top of the snap of the towel and I can this water soluble stabilizer can be um, gently pulled off And you know when you wash the towel, this will come. The rest of it will come out. What you don't pull off. You don't want to dislodge the stitches, so you don't want to pull too hard. And then on the back, we have the um, tear away stabilizer, so I can tear this away also. And then you have a finished towel. If you've liked this video, please press the like button. And also subscribe to our YouTube channel. We should be having more machine embroidery videos in the future, and you wouldn't want to miss any of them. If you like to see other machine embroidery projects or information, you can visit our website, needlepointers.com. Have a great day.